Well, the beauty of art is that it can turn the ordinary into the awe-inspiring. In New Jersey's case, a symbol of urban decay has been transformed into a sparkling new center for the arts. Ben Farnsworth takes us inside for a preview. It was more than four years ago that an implosion made way for the first cultural complex of its kind in the state, the New Jersey Performing Arts Center. On October 18th, there will be an explosion of music and dance as the $165 million arts facility celebrates opening night. There's still a lot of work to be done before the 2,800-seat Prudential Hall will host the likes of Kathleen Battle and Yitzhak Perlman and dance companies of the stature of Alvin Ailey and the American Ballet Theater. The 500-seat Victoria Theater will house children's programs and smaller productions. New Jersey hopes to break into the major leagues of culture. It would be presumptuous to say that on the day we open, we'll have the stature of Lincoln Center or the or Kennedy Center. Those are great world institutions. Uh, but that is clearly within our ambition. About 30% of New York's Lincoln Center and Broadway seats are filled by New Jersey residents. The hope is that some of those sophisticated ticket buyers will come here, along with New Jersey residents who would never cross the Hudson River if they didn't have to. The question is, will the perception of Newark's urban problems hurt the box office? I've been working down here for 18 years. I've never even had an incident. The Art Center sits in the center of Newark and should have a major impact on the local economy. What the general standard in the arts is, is that everyone who pays um, 20 or $30 for a ticket pays double that much in the course of an evening. The New Jersey Symphony, which will make Prudential Hall its new home, has already tripled its subscription. The New Jersey Performing Arts Center officials say, although they don't mind it now, their goal is not to be a warm-up for New York. Ben Farnsworth, News Channel 4. Performers scheduled for the opening night gala include Wynton Marsalis and the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra.